buzzing on the chat is something that I wanted to kind of explicitly uh, emphasize on in terms of why we have been doing this. What is it that you know that you can expect out of this? Um, what is it that we are here to be supporting you with? And also what we are going to be all getting out of this complete, complete uh, box of uh, magic. So let's get started. So we are going to be speaking through a few of the um, program elements, uh, who the core team is. We, you can kind of meet the core team here. Um, we will be sharing a few more thoughts around how you can get involved, what's in it for you. Um, and then also we speak about the inaugural uh, challenge, which I would, I'm, I'm pretty sure a few of you have already kind of kick-started and started getting your hands dirty. And then, as Valentina mentioned, she's got a very specific magic element today for us in terms of walking us all through her magical portfolio building journey, the tips and tricks of what a brilliant portfolio would be looking like. And also, we have got some time to get to know us better. Uh, we are totally excited about uh, what your perspective is in joining Makerspace and what you want to get out of it. So let's get started. What's Makerspace? So all that we wanted to kind of convey as part of what is the experiential learning zone. So anything and everything that we are going to be working on here is going to be to practice and build something, get our hands dirty, write out an artifact, and also build strong networking connections with like-minded people. So we, the core team, are here to provide those real-world challenges in terms of competitions, hackathons. We could you know, name it in different types of uh, learning modes. And we also are here to create a more safe and supportive environment for all of you to kind of learn and grow together. And as I mentioned, everything here is going to be hands-on. We are not going to be kind of just leaving you guys with training or just with, you know, kind of conversation-based uh, learning, but it's more likely anything that we learn is going to be by doing. So either individual or it could be a paired challenge that you will be working on, and it will also be time boxed so that we kind of focus and, you know, focus our thoughts and um, um, our attention towards a particular piece of work. Um, and it's not going to be ending there. Um, it, it, in terms of what makes us special, right? So uh, you would have already kind of been wondering, what is Makerspace so special? Or why is it that this is quite different from the rest of the l and shakers, right? So it's it's kind of quite targeted in terms of all of us as transitioners. So I've been a transitioner myself. And when I did that, it was more organic for me because it was in, within the same organization. And I was already doing bits and pieces of learning and development work in some shape or form. So it was pretty, I would say, organic for me to step into an l and role or an even kind of dive deep into what is it that I'm going to be niching in terms of L&D. However, when, when this transition happened, I felt, uh, I would say, there is, a, there is a critical need in terms of having that space for doing something, getting that experience to brand ourselves as an L&D professional, because what the market expects is you know, the hands-on project work. So what is it that you've done in this space that makes you unique, that makes you a good fit for the roles that you're going to be applying for or, you know, the, the foreseeing opportunities that you've got. So all that is what actually builds up for Makerspace. And that's where this space was introduced to provide that real-time challenges, real-time problems that we will be solving together. And that project can be a skill set, a capability that we could proudly project within our our portfolios and branded brand ourselves with so that's exactly the rhythm and vision behind what make a space and why we are quite special and this is also not going to be quite templated in any shape or form so it's going to be completely personalized you're going to be spending that time and energy in a project that is going to be helping branding yourself so it's your personalized growth that's going to be ending up as part of Makerspace. And also, of course, it's all gamified learning. We're going to be having competitions, challenges, pairing, and you know, spell it in, in N different gamification formats. And we'll, we'll try bringing those blend in so that it's, it's not only going to be doing, doing, but it's going to be fun with doing. So let's get that fun element more 
plugged in so that we see the magic all together. In terms of the core team, uh, I will, I'm, I'm really, really excited and so blessed to have this core team here with me today. Uh, so we've got Valentina, Kate and Maria, along with myself uh, as part of the core team. So we are uh, here to kind of connect on the operational side of things, uh, setting up this space for all of you, bringing in the challenges, uh, speaking about you know how we could share this feedback and how we could kind of present your uh, portfolios, your, your your challenge materials outside of the maker space, and you know kind of help you brand yourself uh, with all these showcases that you're going to be making. So it's going to be real fun with all this core team stepping in. Uh, I would, you know, I would probably uh, have uh, pass it on to the rest of the core team as well to probably introduce themselves um, and also speak about what they are interested with Makerspace. Over to you, uh, Valentina. Hey everyone. So you probably know me from other courses. Uh, in the shaker space. My name is Valentina. I'm a communication trainer with more than 15,000 hours of corporate training under my belt. I'm looking forward to going through these challenges with you and maybe helping you also by giving you some feedback on your communication, whether that be visual, written, or if you go out of your comfort zone and film a video for your portfolio, that would be a great opportunity too. So I'm here, you'll find me uh, both in our live sessions and in our Makerspace channel. And I can't wait to learn more about you and your journey. Thank you. Thank you so much, Valentina. Over to you, Maria. Hello, I'm Maria Mercedes. I'm from Venezuela, but I've been living here in Barcelona, Spain for more than 20 years. And I have like 15 years of experience in learning industry. And I'm here because I like to share my knowledge and my experience and to help you grow. And uh, also I want to learn from you because I believe so much in collective intelligence. And I think whatever you bring to this uh, team is gonna be something that I can learn from. So we are here to learn from each other and to uh, get them out, the most out of ourselves, right? So I'm here to support you to help you grow because this is something that is in the core of an L&D role. Uh, we like to help others to grow uh, personally and professionally. So here you have me to help you to grow your career. Amazing, thank you. Thanks, Maria. And Kate, over to you. You're mute, Kate. Uh, we cannot, okay. Me. So uh, my name is Kate and greeting from uh, from Austria with you and very nice uh, being part of this community and be with be here with you. So my experience, I, I was in your shoes a couple of years before when transition from an uh, HR business partner into the talent development or learning development role. So I've experienced everything, but uh, in the long term that you have to learn through the job and to learn from my mistakes. So it was a uh, really excited opportunity. I've seen that uh, Supreme just had this idea to establish this space, opportunity to co-create this uh, portfolio to with you. Definitely it's, it's a great opportunity to learn from you as well. So I'm here to supporting you, to sharing my experience and also learn from you. Thank you. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, and yeah, as, as all of them mentioned, we are all available on the Makerspace channel to reach out. Uh, or if you need, you know, kind of any one-on-one uh, -on -one support, then yeah, please feel free to reach over to either one of us and we'll be more than happy to support. Cool. Um, moving on, uh, let's talk more about what is in it for you as participants. So the primary takeaways or you know kind of what you can expect that you can think of uh in terms of takeaways we have got your personalized portfolio well built with the right set of projects that you want to immerse yourself into so the the challenges and the competitions or the hackathons whatever we could call it are not going to be in a particular standardized template or in a you know only within a particular journal it's going to be widespread it's going to be more like a trail mix in terms of different shapes and form of l d work that you can imagine so it's going to be a kind of widespread uh, arena of different 
work profiles that you can pick and choose based on what your interests are and where you're coming from. So uh, I would I would kind of definitely encourage you to look out for uh, the challenges that are more closer to, to your kind of interests, your needs, and also to kind of help you put on the right set of stuff onto your uh, portfolio and few of these challenges could be individual few of these challenges could be you know in pairs or in teams of three so that you also get that networking element uh, cooked in and as everyone mentioned you know it's like the the cumulative learning is always so special and it's always so sporadic which we wanted to definitely leverage as part of this community and in terms of the expectations you can uh we, we i mean there is there's going to be a two stream kind of um engagement that we are going to be having with this community one side we're going to be having multiple flavors of gamified learning so think of hackathons or think of monthly kind of competitions or maybe some niche micro learning nuggets that we could create it. so things like these and on the other stuff it's going other side it's going to be more of guided boot camps which is going to also be coming up for makerspace so stay tuned on this so guided boot camps are more going to be still learning by doing but you're going to be guided by an expert in terms of doing the right thing in a more appropriate fashion so it's going to be more like you're still going to be living the vision but in a more guided uh, you know kind of expertise so that's that's what you could expect from makerspace going forward um just give me one second yeah in terms of how do you guys get involved uh, i know most of you are already involved and you've been quite very engaging crowd with this community so first of all hats off and thank you so much for believing uh, in the vision and joining us uh, through this journey uh, but you know i also wanted to mention that you know it's not just going to be the work pieces that we are going to be doing but it's also kind of critically important for us to voice out and feedback and you know kind of have that peer uh, collaboration within the community so that we we tend to create and manage that safe space for people to start putting in any questions that they might have and bring on bring on any feelings that they might have running those challenges as well so yeah do please do network on your on the channel participate in challenges as and when appropriate to your particular needs pick and choose the right ones and then you know post your questions and then engage with with the community in terms of sharing your feedback as well and also even though we said that you know we, we would be sharing the quarterly challenges uh up front if you have any challenges that comes to your mind or if you think any ideas that that you think would be most helpful for the community to flourish then please do uh pass it out to the core team and we'll be more than happy to have and discuss it with you uh going forward um the Slack space, as we all know, it's the three shakers maker space. But you know, if at all you have any of your friends also sharing a similar vision, but they are still yet to be joining, please do pass this along, and we would be loving to have more of them joining us as a group here. Cool. Um, and just wanted to kind of give a clarity around the target audience for this particular group as i mentioned when we were thinking about the uniqueness of makerspace it's quite targeted at this point around transitioners so if you are an you know kind of lnd enthusiast i would say it's even call you professional but if you're an lnd enthusiast just as me when i was before transitioning but you are kind of so very overwhelmed with uh in terms of how you do this transition how you get on to a, a very critical piece of you know and a full-time lnd role then this this forum is completely for you in setting that uh, you know um, uh, space for yourself, building your portfolio, setting up your skills, capabilities, and showcasing it out loud so that people are quite um, you know um, um, aware on what is the skill set, what is the niche that you bring on to the table with an LND. Of course, as we all know, LND is quite huge, broad spread, and it's like you know it, it has its own number of uh, different streams of work that's possible. So it's absolutely critical for us to understand our niche, work towards. Uh, spreading the awareness about how unique we are in terms of our skills and capabilities that we bring on. 
so yes so that's that's what this group is i mean that's what this community is for and whoever is passionate in terms of doing and then learning through it and you know whoever is open to feedback then this community is absolutely for you and we are all going to be loving uh in terms of doing things together so that's that's pretty much on the target audience and yes as most of you uh, would have known we have uh, kickstarted our inaugural challenge, which is the landing page building for our portfolio. So when I say landing page, so this is going to be the primary container, which is going to be housing all of your skill sets, your capabilities, your projects, the way the, the approach that you have, everything. But it is it is quite flexible in terms of how you host them what is it that you actually want to showcase and who the target audience is going to be for that portfolio is it going to be recruiters that you want to connect with or is it going to be ngos and volunteering organizations so the 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 kind of the you know the the flavor of portfolio would differ alongside all of these parameters which is where we wanted to have this engagement quite running through the journey so it's not going to be that we are going to be expecting only the finished polished uh, portfolios at the end of the challenge uh, the core team is actually uh, you know more than um, excited to be walking with you through this journey in terms of building so thoughts that you have in terms of okay do i think that my portfolio should be doing this what is the tool that i could use or i think my projects are of this volume what do what, how should i be presenting it or even these questions are are going to be very very interesting in terms of journeying through this together and that's where we wanted to have this engagement more free flowing rather than just waiting for the deadline to kind of come back and feedback so it's not going to be like a you know a competition which is out of the box but rather it's more of a competition where we are going to be kind of good doing things together and learning from each other on what works what works best for us so do do um you know reach out if you have any questions and any thoughts that you might have quoted on the channel um uh, please feel free to use the space as engaging as possible and also just to keep you all on board so this challenge has been opened on the 30th of September and it will be open until the 24th. So 25th, we expect to see your lovely portfolio landing pages on the Slack channel. But as I mentioned, just not, no, let's not wait until the last day. But if you have any screenshots, if you want any, uh, you know, um, work in progress, uh, links that you wanted to share we are more than happy to kind of uh, get that in see that and you know kind of start having those conversations so it's about the journey of building rather than the actual artifact itself and even during the deadline if you're not complete with your portfolio landing page that's absolutely still fine we are going to be it's more around the progress that you've made till date around what i know how your thoughts were in terms of defining your portfolio and have that absolute flexibility in terms of what works appropriate for you your arena and you know your projects that you've already kind of made and also it would be amazing uh, at this at this junction to kind of share your feedback peer feedback for the rest of the portfolios that come on board so whatever is being shared please do feel free to uh, look around and you know share your thoughts uh, see what works for you and also kind of start and share the learnings uh, that come out of it so that's going to be our our primary inaugural challenge and i hope we're all going to be immersing ourselves with fun and coming out with very beautiful portfolios all for ourselves and also to mention i'm also kind of uh, taking up this challenge uh, along with all of you so i had my portfolio like done a couple of years back uh, just on powerpoint at that point in time which was more of a more for a very niche targeted audience but now i thought this is the right time for me to refurbish it with all the new tools and you know think thoughts about how i could improve it for, with the projects that i've done over the last couple of years so yeah i'm with you so any 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 thoughts any questions i'll also post in the group and i'm looking forward to learning from all of you that brings me to the question space. So any questions that you guys have, um, we could take them up now, or we could also take them up maybe after uh, Valentina, your uh, journey, and then we could we could pause for questions. Either way works. 
Yeah, I already see some lovely questions propping up from all of you in the chat. Oh, We've amazing. all been doing our best, <laughs> myself, Kate, and Maria Mercedes, to connect with you also in the chat and answer your questions. I saw someone ask uh, the link to the Slack channel. Uh, I'm leaving this to you, so Brian, <laughs> sure. to, to jump on as I continue with the next segment uh, in today's presentation. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, wait, Alex has a question. Yes, Alex, yes. and love the Hi. courage, Hi, unmute yourself. Yeah, I, I, I'm curious about the program and uh, want to be part of that. Of course, the question is more an organizational one. Um, um, maybe I've missed this information. Um, how it's organized within, the, uh, uh, let's say, a kind of timeline? The, um, are there any regular meetings or working with... Um, just, you know, all this stuff. Yeah, that's a great question. Probably I can take it, uh, Valentina. Uh, so this is going to be more of uh, a combination of async and async conversations that we are going to be having, Alex. So basically, we are going to be opening out time box challenges. So mostly it will be monthly or else it could be like, you know, six, eight weeks timeline based on the topic that we are going to be focusing. The first one which has got opened is to build your portfolio's landing page. And this will be open until the last week of October. So which is going to be a four week timeline. So during these four weeks, we will have one live session like what we have been currently having in terms of understanding the pulse, asking, you know, answering any questions that you might have on the challenge. But later in, we also be sharing some async resources portfolio examples or whatever kind of goes handy with the challenge in order to help you do the actual uh, task so that will be more of a combination as i mentioned with sync and async uh, connects that we might be having and the community is open anytime for the async collaboration uh, in case of any questions or any thoughts so that's how we have been initially uh, putting forth the operational side of things, but eventually, in when it comes to the boot camps and stuff, that will be more a regulated weekly connects that we will be having with those specific participants. That's how um, uh, the the program now runs. Hope that answers. Okay, and uh, let me say something, Supraya. Uh, it's yes, important sorry. for you to participate in the Slacker channel. Why? Because once you are starting your portfolio. You can share the link in the channel, and then we can provide feedback, but not just uh, we as the core team, everyone can share feedback. So we can learn all together, but it's important that every advancement you have, uh, you are creating your landing page, you can share it uh, immediately. So we can help you in creating and improving the, the the landing page right so also we we are, we are gonna share some resources that can help you in creating this landing page okay i'm just gonna read out loud one of the questions we got in the messages from lovely celine and she asked uh what if someone doesn't have a particular project to put on their portfolio uh, the answer for everyone here is we're going to start with the first challenge about creating the landing page, the container for all our projects. But future challenges will revolve around scenarios and briefs and content pieces that we will all be building for our portfolios. So for Celine and for everyone else who had that question, look forward to our future channel uh, challenges to get all that lovely content up on your portfolio. And let me add something else, Valentina. For me, this uh, first challenge is a kind of a self-assessment. So basically, if you detect that your portfolio is almost empty, it means that you have a lot of work to do. So think about this uh, first challenge, like let me assess uh, myself to understand what are my gaps, my weaknesses and my strengths as an l &D, what I need to work for improving and leverage skills or whatever. Absolutely. Um, any more questions? I saw okay. Maxine is cool. asking, what tool do we recommend? <laughs> We okay. did get this question. Yes. Oh, and oh, more questions. Guys, I love how how proactive you are with your questions. Yes. So when it comes to tool, I'll be sharing a couple of tips uh, in a moment. But 
keep in mind that anything your audience is comfortable using or you are currently comfortable using is a great place to start. Uh, yeah. The idea is just to start as quickly as you can so that we can put that content up and be able to showcase it to whoever uh, opens a door for an opportunity for you and might be interested in looking at your work. Exactly. And also to add the Notion page, the challenge brief that was shared on the Slack channel is also containing few tools that we, it's not It's not ideally the, the recommended, but it's more around suggestions, the market leaders to, to kind of get you started. So yeah, have a look at the uh, brief as well to, to get the top tools that you can probably start with. Um, Alex, you had, did you have another question? Um, I think uh, I still see Alex on the queue. So no, 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 no. I don't have it. Okay, perfect. Just um, yeah, I think we've answered most of the questions. Um, and Valentina, I think it's good time for us to step onto your journey um, on portfolio building. Yes. Can't wait to share all the lovely mistakes I've been making through the years. <laughs> no pressure at all. <laughs> all right. So I've put together three things I wish I'd, knew, I'd known sooner um, about portfolios and about showcasing my work in general. I hope this uh, is helpful for you and is a jumping point to maybe some of the conversations you'll be having in the breakout room after this very, very brief presentation. So the first thing I wish I'd known sooner is that people are not gonna notice your skills unless you make them. Uh, we love to believe uh, that what we do is visible, that our contribution to projects is out in the open, but unfortunately it really is not like that. Uh, so making sure that we create a space and we create an opportunity for people to notice some of our maybe less known skills so that they can keep us top of mind for future opportunities and project uh, is not just a nice to have, but is becoming essential in this day and age. I've left two prompt questions here for you. Don't worry, I will be copying all the prompt questions you see here right in our Slack channel as soon as we finish this event. Uh, but I would recommend that you maybe ask yourself, what do you want people to remember about you and how you can showcase that skill or project you, you've been working on. On top of that, uh, second big mistake I have definitely made uh, in my journey is to look to what other people were doing a little bit too much. So portfolio for us is just a word. It's really up to us to decide what that can look like. For some people, it might look like a mirror board or a collection of YouTube videos you've created to explain certain concepts. Or we could even look at transforming our LinkedIn profile into a portfolio by adding some of the more tangible um, deliverables from previous projects. In my mind, the two key elements are the audience and the platform we're deciding to use. When it comes to the audience, I'd recommend you ask yourself, who do you really want to see your work? Now, you might have multiple audiences. You might want maybe someone from an internal team to look at the work you've developed through the years, or a potential client if you're a freelancer. So you might end up having more than one portfolio. I personally tend to have different um, brainstorming boards uh, that I submit to my clients so that they can decide what courses they might want for their company. But that's just me. There are so many different uh, declinations of what a portfolio can look like as long as you're thinking about your audience and you're thinking about the type of content you want to show them. What's the format? Are we creating videos? Is it going to be a blog, a collection of articles, a collection of prompt questions? Uh, again, I'm going to leave these prompt questions for you in our Slack channel so you can keep working on them and maybe have these conversations offline with us uh, to get a little bit more clarity. The last thing I would recommend for everyone is don't wait for the opportunity to find you. It's, uh, this is something that I have definitely struggled with through the years. That idea of, 
I'll be sharing my work as soon as my website is done, or I'll be sending this over to this person as soon as I put finishing touches. Uh, the reality, unfortunately, is that opportunity finds you working. So if your portfolio is already there, if you already have tangible proof of how you work and how you contribute to learning and development, it's going to be so much easier for people to see that contribution and for you to share it the moment you need it. So I'm just going to recommend this to all of you. Start now. Don't wait for things to be finished. Don't wait for things to be perfect. Just get your work out there as quickly as you possibly can. Now, we are very, very lucky because we've got this lovely opportunity to work on our content together to take advantage of the other lovely people in our community. And uh, I think it's going to start right now because as this presentation is over, we are going to immediately stop recording. So let's say hi to the lovely people who are watching this. <laughs>